So what is storm signal number one? Well, Philippine public storm signal number one means that in your area, you will have sustained winds of up to 30 to 60 kilometers per hour within the next 36 hours. In the open sea, waves may reach up to 1.25 to 4 meters in height, so small fishing vessels are not allowed to work. For structural changes, expect very light to no damage in high-risk structures. In low-risk structures, expect light to medium damage and expect very slight damage to houses of very light materials or in makeshift structures in exposed communities. As for the damage to the vegetation, expect that some of the banana plants may be tilted and a few may be down and the leaves are generally damaged. Twigs of small trees can be broken. Rice crops, however, may suffer significant damage especially if it is in the flowering stage. As ordered by the Dep Ed, public and private preschool and kindergarten classes shall be automatically suspended or cancelled in the affected areas. Government offices will still be operational and frontline emergency services will be on high alert and will be monitoring high risk or flood prone areas. So if you want to find out about the other four public storm warning signals, you can check out the cards in this YouTube video. If you can't find the cards, you can Click any of the call to action also found in this video and you can also find their links if you read the description box below. And that's all for today. If you like this video, click the subscribe button below. If you are on Facebook, I can be followed on facebook.com slash zero million. And on Twitter, I am at twitter.com slash zero I'm Dr. Zero Amelia. Thank you very much for watching. Mabuhay.